<sighs> happy Saturday, good people. Happy Saturday. So, before we get started, let me just, you know, I got a big head, so this is possible for me. Because the message that I'm going to deliver to you is all love and light, so I gotta have my pink rose quartz. My pink, my, my rose quartz. Yes, I love rose quartz. Love it. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Y'all just don't understand. Love it. Can't really see my pendulum because my, my, my stream light is too bright, but whatever. Let's get into this topic. Um, really want to talk about suicide awareness and the spiritual aspect of it and why you shouldn't commit suicide. I'm eventually going to edit these videos and make them all nice and cool or whatever. I'm going to learn how to do that. But as of right now, <laughs> that's probably me shooting out my magic like, yes, we're going to make it happen. <laughs> this will happen. Can't nobody tell me it's not going to happen. Anyway, let's get into the topic. Let's talk um, spiritual awareness of suicide okay and how to stop it because if you're right now and you're feeling suicidal or you're having your thoughts like i don't be here i don't want to be here it's hard it's this it's that nobody loves me um delete all that from your brain delete all of it delete all of it and the reason why i'm telling you to delete all of it because those are temporary feelings and you have to get rid of those temporary feelings i suffered from those same feelings in my younger teens. Like, I ain't younger teens, but I want to say when I was like 18 and 19. I did try to commit suicide twice. And each time, I failed. I failed. Miserably. Failed. I'm just a failure killing myself. Definitely tried. The first time I attempted suicide, I was 18 years old. Um, I was with a certain family member. And it's just, I just, the energy was just so harsh and heavy. And I just, I just couldn't deal. And it's just like, do I really want to continue going on in a life that is just going to continue to be cruel to me, that is going to continue to be mean to me, no matter how happy I am, no matter how much I try to make everybody else happy and make them laugh, do I really want to live in this world? I had said no. Stole a whole bunch of Benadryl. I stole like 18 Benadryl from the family member. <laughs> other person we're gonna talk about this <laughs> gonna talk about how i did it or what i stole when i stole these 18 benadryl i went and rode on the bike went to an empty park pop 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 and i sit there and i'm like man eventually it's just gonna hit me and i'm just gonna die <laughs> and i'm just gonna be free i sat there waiting forever for to just fall asleep just to fall asleep under the tree. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to be next to a tree. And I just wanted to be free. Like, bury me in front of this tree when I die. That's what I wanted. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing so much. I could be a little cynical. I don't mean to be. But it's just, I don't know. I just like to laugh at stuff. And that's one of the things. Because now that I think about it, I realize how dramatic and just how just extra I was about the whole situation. But that's another reason why. You should not commit suicide because in that moment, you just got so much rushing through you, especially at that age, man, 18, 19, the hormones are just pumping, the emotions are pumping, and nothing kind of know where it goes, nothing, <laughs> so it's just like, you're just like, oh, especially if you're empathic, okay, this is a very, oh man, for my empathic people, for my people that 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 just absorb so much energy my like you guys have to realize please learn about being in past please please it's so much stuff out there on the internet that can just teach you that can give you knowledge please please get it it's free it's free get it listen to it read it. if you don't want to read it there's videos on youtube go i also share them on my facebook page so just go look at that stuff and get an awareness of self and why things feel so heavy on you also um when you're empathic back on topic when you're empathic you're picking up emotions from other people you're picking up energy and vibrations off of other things even animals like you just don't really like those emotions and they hit you so you have to get in a state when you start feeling so negative about yourself you have to get in a state where you kind of just sit down Get you a pencil, get you a journal, get you something to write on, and just start writing down everything positive. 
because really what's happening right now is you don't realize how special you are and the gifts and just not even just you don't have to be empathic for this for this to be about you you just just regular oh you just regular old you this message is for you too even if you just feel like i don't have nothing special about me no no you're special period that's another thing i'm tired of people doing telling other people that they're not but you're not special fuck you yes i am do you know all the things that my body can do you're fucking special and that was one thing that here we go we get deep into the spiritual aspect of it this is one thing that the negative energy wanted to hit me the most with the fact that you aren't special you don't mean nothing you, you your own mother didn't want you your own father didn't want you so it's just like and you have all these thoughts that i know people are like that's a lie her mother wanted her and that's a lie shut the fuck up this is my video and i'm gonna talk about what i want to talk about okay and if that's what i choose to say that's what i choose to say okay okay we'll get more in detail about my life and stuff when when, when y'all want when i want to talk about when I want to talk about it, but at the moment, those were the things going through my mind when I was having my suicidal thoughts and going through my suicidal tendencies or whatever you want to call them. But like I said, I was 18. That was the first time. Nothing happened, period. I felt it trying to kill myself. Then again, I tried when I was 19 and then I had a friend pull up on me. Remember too, because this friend, we're no longer friends because you need to realize, and I needed to realize that too, that a lot of people are just for a season. They are not forever. They are not forever. Get that in your mind. Even though you love them, you want them to be forever. You guys have an awesome connection. You guys have shared so much in life. You still cannot keep that person. You cannot. You can forever keep those memories and those feelings that they gave you. But you cannot keep that person. Because why? The reason why it's time for that person to go is because life, universe, God wants to give you something else. Remember that when somebody is walking away, don't fight for them to stay. This has been that's been a big, big lesson of mine. Being a life path one, I had to realize independence is just is just something that I need to be aware of, and the codependency had to be dropped, and the independence had to be gained. Okay, that's just how it works. But anyway, negative. <laughs> you're going. But anyway, <laughs> the negative spirits tend to attack even more hear me when i say this now the negative spirits tend to attack you even more when they feel like you're something that this world needs and that's the spiritual aspect of it believe it or not nobody talks about it people just talk about the the the, the science part of it with well, this part of the brain is going through this and that part of the brain is going through that no i'm telling you right now I'm telling you, some people may call it the devil. Call it whatever you want. But those negative spirits, those negative energies, they come in when they realize that you're something really extra special. And just because you don't have suicidal thoughts doesn't mean you're, you're not special, okay? But I'm just saying the negative tends to attack those people who have more of, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I'm just be honest, more of a calling on their life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if anyway this is making you not feel special, <laughs> but I'm just being honest. I'm just giving you the message that was given to me. It's going to attack you more when you have a calling on your life. When you're somebody that's going to go out there and be a sheep herder and save the flock from the wolves, okay? You're literally a sheep herder in training, okay? And you have to realize how to fight the werewolf. You, have, uh, This is a, a weird scenario, but... Feel me now. You have to realize how to fight that werewolf before it starts attacking your sheep. Okay? You got to get on top of that werewolf, which is the negative energy, and get rid of it before it starts attacking all your positive. And you know, sheep herders, they got a lot of sheep. A lot of sheep. But then that negative come in creeping. Sometimes may even be dressed like a sheep. And it start taking your positive out. One by one by one. Until you get the strength to be like, yeah! I trick and kill it. Yeah, straight up kill it. Kill it. Gotta kill it. You gotta kill it. You have to kill those negative thoughts. You have to kill that negative energy. You are at a fight and a war with self and spirit. And when negative spirit is upon you, you have to realize, oh, you're attacking me? I feel so honored that you feel the need to bring me this negative energy, which is letting me know 
that in reality, I am something special and I am something that this world needs. I'm telling you, you are something special and you are something that this world needs. So remember, get you a notebook, get you a pencil and start writing down everything positive about self. Do it. Do it. Write down everything. And I don't care if it's the way you tie your shoes. I don't care if it's the way that I, I don't care. I don't care. Whatever makes you feel special, makes you feel good. If you feel you're a good artist, write that down because everything about you is 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 worthy. It's worthy. It's worthy of being alive. It's worthy of being here. If you weren't worthy of being here, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't, honestly. Would I lie to you? No. I'll probably cap on you and make a joke. But I don't lie to you. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you like it is. I'm going to give you real tea. Now, I don't care if you got to meditate, but you have to fight those negative thoughts. You have to fight that negative energy because spiritual warfare is so hard up against us right now. And we have to be aware of it. And ding, ding, ding. That's what I'm trying to do for you, honey. That's what I'm trying to do. And hopefully it is what I'm doing. Okay? I feel like it is. I feel like it is. I feel like you get me. I feel like you understand me. Because I used to be the emo kid. I used to be the class clown. I used to be just just all that stuff. Sometimes I would be the one that sit in the back. Well, I did say emo kid. That just cried. And be like, what's wrong with you? You're always so happy. Especially, check on your friends that are always so happy. For those of you that care. I don't know. Because it's a lot of people that don't care. But it's a lot of people that do care. And if you got a friend that you know always in, in good spirits, check on them. Because a lot of times, I was one of those people. Honestly, let's, let's, I don't mean to make it about me. But we're going to make it about me. <laughs> I was one of those people like my home front wasn't happy. So when I would go to school and I go be around all these other kids, being around them made me happy. And I would joke and laugh and just have a good time because I had to get some type of happiness in before I went back to my miserable home. It is what it is. Some of y'all may look at this video and be like, she ain't had no miserable home. Don't tell me shit about my life if you didn't live it. Period. That's another thing we got to start telling. Because people love to tell you about your life. Fuck them. They can't tell you nothing. That is your life. You're the one living it. And if that's your tea, that's your tea. If they don't want to sip it, they ain't got to sip it. It's your tea. Because, baby, pretty sure my, my tea going to be too sweet. Okay? My tea going to be too sweet and you're going to get diabetes. And you ain't going to be able to handle it. Okay? Cane, sugar, and honey up in mine. That's just how I feel, though. But fight it. Fight it because you are special. You are more special than you give your credit for. But you know what? Those negative energies know how special you are. That's the crazy part about it. Those negative thoughts know how special you are. And that's why you're being attacked. That's why you're being attacked. So this is the time that you really have to call on your positive energy. And your positive energy is just you just being a light for self. You have to be a light for self. Because once you start being a light for self... You could be a light for others. And like me, you may already be a light for others. Even in your younger years, you may have already been a light for others. But nobody was really a light for you. But this is where your true power comes in when you realize, holy sh... I am a light to y'all and I am definitely the light for myself as well. That's just how special you are. That's just how strong you are. Wake up, honey. Don't do it. Don't do it. Whatever way that you were thinking about taking yourself out, don't do it. Listen to me. <laughs> I tell people all the time, listen to me, Linda. Listen to me. <laughs> You're special. I don't care what anybody else tells you. I don't care what anybody else tries to give you a reality of. The reality is you better not kill yourself. That's what the reality is. Because for what reason? You have other people's lives you got to save. Every day it's not going to be a happy day. It's not going to be a happy day. But it's going to be a worthy day, a day that's worthy of you and your presence, okay? So fight that energy. Fight it. You may not want to. It may be becoming too hard for you, but I'm telling you, the life that comes after the dark path you walk is a lit up life that looks like Christmas and I don't even know, Christmas on a beautiful just winter wonderland type scenery. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever makes you happy. Maybe springtime. Maybe the flowers in bloom. Whatever tends to make you happy. The leaves falling off the trees and the autumn colors coming in. 
realize you're that special. Once you realize suicide will become a factor no more, negative energy will be a factor no more.